Welcome to the Natural Health and Healing Show with one of New England's leading nutritionists, Mark Mincook. The show is brought to you by the Good Health Stores in Hanover and Quincy. Call Mark at 781-837-4900 with your health and nutrition questions. Now, here's Mark. Good evening and welcome. And a happy, healthy Sunday to everybody out there. I trust everyone is enjoying the early spring weather, soon to be lost and forgotten. <laughs> From what I understand, the cold weather is moving back in. It's uh, This is what we refer to as gallbladder season in the world of health and oriental medicine because uh, things are constantly changing, and fast and furious they do. But uh, you got to make sure that you take good care of yourself this time of year. Folks tend to kind of get a little, uh, little loose with their diets and you know, not dressing as warmly and that sort of business because uh, during the winter months you wrap it all up and uh, when the spring first gets its little t- tinges of uh, beautiful weather like this, sometimes we kind of let it loose and uh, get caught off guard. So be careful out there. Take good care of yourself and uh, hope everybody's doing well, feeling well. Uh, we're going to have an interesting program this evening, a program that I've been looking forward to for some time and uh, a very rare guest is coming in this evening. And uh, after the break, we will be talking to Tom Silver. And Tom Silver has appeared on many national television programs in the United States and Taiwan, including his very own one-hour CBS television special called Hypnotized. And the Montel Williams Show, the Ricky Lake Show, the Sally Jesse Raphael Show, uh, the Man Show, Beyond with James Von Prague, the other half of NBC with Dick Clark, Fox Television Specials, The Power of the Paranormal, just to name a few. He is a remarkable guy. He's the founder, creator of the Tom Silver Institute of Hypnosis. And uh, Tom Silver is dedicated to teaching more advanced, more accurate, and more scientific methods of hypnotism. He has a private hypnotherapy practice in Westlake Village, California, where he, where he helps clients to really change their lives. And I mean dramatically change their lives for many years. Uh, He has successfully trained and helped thousands of students of hypnotism and other therapists and is currently teaching advanced courses in scientific hypnotherapy in America and England. And Tom is uh, considered to be one of the leading experts in group hypnosis, physical and shock hypnosis, induction methods, fears and phobia removal, and developed what he calls the Emotional Replacement Therapy, ERT, as well as EEG scientific hypnotism, and he's a remarkable guy. He has toured the world, conducted seminars, lectures, uh, live demonstrations on hypnosis. One of the first hypnotists in the world to create a procedure for mass hypnotizing subjects in a foreign language through an interpreter. Uh, Remarkable stuff he has done, and uh, he's going to be on with us this evening. And uh, a lot of folks may know that uh, the... uh, American Idol program that's uh, such a hit on television these days with Ryan Seacrest. And uh, Tom has actually worked very, very closely with Ryan Seacrest. And uh, he's got some magnificent stories to tell. Uh, He's a dear friend now, a recent friend, but uh, someone that I've learned some interesting, interesting things from. He's uh, he's had some magnificent uh, uh, experiences just recently in Hawaii that we talked about the other day. I want him to share those with you. And so much more. He's got so much to... uh, to lend to the healing process. Uh, You know, I think about the human brain as being a remarkable, remarkable vehicle made up of 100 billion neurons that make 100 trillion brain and body connections. And your conscious mind can process 2,000 bits of information per second. Your unconscious mind, 400 billion bits of information per second. And uh, the way I look at it is your brain and your mind are your reality authors. They are the true source of all your power, your power to be healthy, aware, alive, and really filled with inspiration. But they're also the source of many of your darker, limiting beliefs, depressions, anxieties, phobias, psychosomatic illnesses, and negative thought patterns that keep you from living your life at its fullest and healthiest potential. And the big question, of course, is can we change our brain? Can we change our minds? Can we create a healthier and more prosperous reality by reprogramming our brain and mind? 
Well, the latest scientific research says, yes, indeed, we can. Uh, I always talk about uh, the work that has been done uh, at the, uh, in 19, as far back as 1993 at the Salk Institute with Dr. Fred Gage, Peter Erickson, some remarkable, remarkable wor work regarding neuroplasticity. You know, before 1993, uh, science told us that uh, the brain you were born with would be the brain you would die with. And, uh, you know, whatever kind of genetic patterns your family had, whatever kind of mind processes, whatever tendencies toward thought, whatever tendencies toward depressions and anxieties and phobias uh, that your mother or your grandmother may have had, that's pretty much what you're going to get stuck with. Well, since 1993, and again, the work of uh, Fred Gage and Peter Erickson, that all changed. Uh, they have done some remarkable, remarkable research, and they have actually proven uh, that indeed the human brain is remarkably changeable and the idea of neuroplasticity that we're not as hardwired as we once thought. And uh, a lot of the work of folks like Tom Silver in terms of changing our mind, retraining our brain and transforming our lives uh, is really breakthrough work. And uh, again, you know, so many of us are thinking in terms of it being strictly a matter of taking the pills and uh, eating properly, exercising, sure, those are real important. Let's not leave the mind and let's not leave the human brain out of that equation of wellness. Well, tonight we're going to take that on, uh, and that's going to be our primary topic this evening, changing your mind, training your brain, and transforming your life. And uh, there's some remarkable, remarkable stories to tell, and that's what we're going to basically expose you to this evening. And we're going to talk a great deal about how your brain and how your mind are really designed by nature to make positive changes. They're designed to, to really make shifts, profound shifts, profound changes, uh, and to increase the development of new brain cells and new neurons. Uh, so the, con the context of this program this evening is really all about the health that you experience, the transformational life experience that you take on, through the process of really changing your mind, changing your thoughts, and changing your brain. And uh, we're going to do that right after these messages. Stay right where you are. This is Catherine from Jaro Formulas. We're happy to have continued our relationship with Mark Mancola in the Health and Healing Show. And we're happy to announce a new product from Jaro Formulas called Jaro Cell. We all know that as the body ages, it heals less rapidly and becomes frailer. Often the body is unable to process enough nutrients to repair weakening cartilage and protein fibers. A very important element in building and repairing your body is silicon. But unfortunately, as we grow, you may have difficulty absorbing adequate silicon from your diet. But now, thanks to a product called Jarosil, you can be sure to get your share. Jarosil can give you the silicon you need to support your bone health, bone mineral density, and in addition, Jarosil strengthens and beautifies your hair, skin, and nails. Jarosil is available now in a synergistic liquid formula that also includes boron and zinc. Ask for Jarosil at your local health food stores. Or for more information, you can go to the Jaro website, which is www.jaro.com. Hi, this is Mark Vincola. Please join me on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Coastal Community Church in Hanover for a one-day intensive muscle testing course. For information, call Candide at 781-834-2728 or log on to healthylivingvideo.com. Alrighty, welcome back. And uh, Larry, I think we've got Tom on the line, do we not? Very good. Tom Silver, welcome. Well, thank you, Mark. Thanks for having me here. Oh, it's great to have you here. And uh, let's get right to the topic. What exactly, how would you define hypnosis? Well, basically, hypnosis is a, it's a therapy process of enabling a therapist to communicate to a person's subconscious mind to help uh, change emotions and, and habits and patterns and behaviors. Our mind kind of operates as like a dual uh, processing computer. The conscious, which is the logic and reason, 
which some people say is about 10% of our mental power, and then our subconscious mind, which is kind of like that hard drive on the computer, which uh, actually has recorded every everything that's occurred in our life, our emotions, our habits, our our um, what we might call our life script, how successful and healthy and happy and positive we're going to be. Right. So hypnotherapists actually help people to reprogram that subconscious biocomputer through the uh, process of, of hypnosis, relaxing uh, the physical body, uh, changing the brainwave frequencies neurologically in a person's brain so they can reach a state of what we call magnified concentration. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about the whole concept of neuroplasticity, the fact that the brain uh, is not hardwired and that the brain really changes really with our thoughts. I mean, our thoughts are just so powerful. I think most Americans really need to appreciate the power of their thoughts. Well, absolutely. When you think about it, our thoughts actually, uh, our mind produces thoughts, and thoughts actually are what you might, some people might say, are, are forms of energy. Right. So the more positive thoughts that you think, the more it's going to actually scientifically affect the body, producing positive chemicals, uh, increasing our immune system, uh, increasing our energy and vitality, just as negative thoughts can deplete energy out of our body. If you find some people that are suffering from uh, negative thoughts or sometimes forms of depression or anxiety, um, scientifically, a lot of times they're more weaker and tired, and their immune system is actually lowered, so they're more prone to actually have illnesses or infectious diseases. Well, it's like the concept of placebo and nocebo, the concept of the mind being able to please or to create problems from within the context of thought processes. Absolutely. And, you know, with the tests that were that are conducted uh, most recently with new um, medicines coming out, the placebo versus the real medicine, they're finding sometimes the success rate is higher uh, on the placebo because the mind believes it's going to help them. And theoretically, it probably produces certain chemicals, uh, serotonin, endorphins, things within their belief that it's going to work that actually helps to heal them. So the mind can actually really heal the body. Absolutely, and it's, it's called expectancy, and there have been many expectancy studies that suggest that indeed what you're saying is true, that when folks anticipate in their mind that they're getting a real pill, when in fact it's a sugar pill, uh, they're getting the same result when we look at study after study uh, as folks would with the real medication. So, you know, it's, it's for real. There, as you point out, there's remarkable changes that take place uh, in the mind and in the body. Uh, Absolutely. And, and even recorded information and books written, even in the late 1800s, used to talk about the, the fact that when the doctor says this pill is going to help you or this is going to help you, uh, a lot of times it's the belief and wor- the words the doctor says that actually physically um, and physiologically uh, can actually help you. Absolutely. You know, and one thing I really want to hear you uh, speak about tonight is, um, you know, the, the concept that so many people say, oh, no, I can't be hypnotized. I'm not suggestible. Um, what would you say to that? Well, I would say that there are so many people that misunderstand hypnosis. Number one, your subconscious identifies and associates with your conscious thoughts. So, therefore, I believe there are a lot of people that are walking around in what scientifically I might call a low brain wave frequency of alpha or theta, where they're actually in what I might call an environmental hypnotized state, giving themselves negative suggestions, negative words, negative images about themselves. And and to me, I would call that a form of self-hypnosis. Everybody can reach those states of magnified concentration. Scientifically, it's, it's based on brain wave frequency states from the conscious cognitive state of beta down to alpha, which is a relaxed state, down to theta, which is more deeper relaxed, uh, down to a, a state called delta scientifically, which is a, a deep sleep or a deep form of hypnosis receptibility. Everyone can be hypnotized when you drive your car and you daydream, you're on automatic pilot, someone's driving for you, it's your subconscious, you reach your destination, you wonder how did I get there, you were in a state uh, where the subconscious was driving for you. Movies hypnotize us, you walk into a movie theater, you're aware of everything around you, you start to focus and concentrate in the movie, after a number of minutes you're experiencing that movie, you're feeling the emotions of that movie. So scientifically, your brainwave frequencies have dropped to a state of actually being hypnotized in the movie. How many people saw the movie Jaws 
and they were afraid of the ocean and sharks. Absolutely. Uh, you can watch a positive movie and feel great. You can watch a, a negative or a, a fearful movie or an exciting movie, and, and you feel exhausted sometimes at the end of the movie because you were in a state of magnified concentration, which what hypnosis is. How many people have gone home, they've misplaced their keys, they're looking all around, they're, they're saying, I can't find my keys. All of a sudden, someone walks into the room, and it's right there in front of them, but they've given them to set their self that suggestion that they can't find their keys. So even misplacing your keys is a form of hypnosis. You put it down, but you weren't consciously aware of what you were doing at that point. Sports events hypnotize us, the person yelling at the athlete on TV, feeling the emotions of the game. They're in a state of hypnosis, so everybody can go into a state of, of what we might call uh, magnified concentration, which is hypnosis. There are light, there are medium, and there are very deep receptive states. Some people go so deep into hypnosis or so receptive into hypnosis, scientifically they're in a, a theta or a delta state where I can actually delete emotions, habits, and, and really long, strong, embedded negative patterns out of their subconscious biocomputer and program in a new freedom in their life, such as removing fears and phobias, and I've showed many demonstrations on national TV shows with that. So everyone's hypnotizable to some degree, and we go into it all the time, actually. Absolutely. You are listening to the voice of Tom Silver. Tom has appeared on many national television programs in the United States and Taiwan, including his very own one-hour CBS television special called Hypnotized, the Montel Williams Show, the Ricky Lake Show, the Sally Jesse Raphael Show, uh, the Man Show Beyond with James Von Prague, the other half on NBC with Dick Clark and Fox Television Special, The Powers of Paranormal, to name a few. Also, you recently uh, had an interesting uh, get-together with Ryan Seacrest of American Idol. Oh, yes. I actually um, did a, a show um, a, a number of years, just a few years back with R Ryan Seacrest, and it was a, a TV weekly show that he was doing. And I was actually um, hypnotizing some of the uh, people in the production part of the show, and Ryan Seacrest started going to hypnosis, but all of a sudden he, he stopped himself. He got, he got a little worried about it. And it's so funny because there's so much confusion about hypnosis. We've seen these movies. We, we've seen all these different types of, of, of things that kind of create confusion about what hypnosis is. It's a wonderful science. The Mayo brothers back in the early 1900s used hypnosis to produce neuropeptides, what we might call mental uh, anesthesia, when one out of 400 people were dying of anesthesia. Mm -hmm. And they did over 17,000 surgical procedures without anyone dying uh, with the ad reaction to the chemical anesthesia. Um, the, in World War II, after World War II, the American government used hypnotherapists to help remove post-traumatic stress disorder and severe burns for military soldiers. Um, so I've hypnotized quite a few people. I, I, I do a lot of private therapy. People come in to see me with uh, everything from wanting to lose weight to actually removing negative emotions and negative habits, and I work with athletes. And it's really a wonderful science. And, um, and again, I think the more people really understand hypnosis as a science of the mind, the more they're going to be able to understand that, that um, hypnotherapy is, is a wonderful modality. It doesn't cure everything. It's not a cure-all, just like any other therapy, but it's a wonderful modality if you have the right clinically trained hypnotherapist working with you. Absolutely. And um, 15 minutes of a hypnotic sleep equal to about five hours of a natural sleep, actually. Incredible. You know, I remember reading years ago when I wrote my first book, uh, Freud, many, many years ago, uh, was really captivated by some remarkable stories that he'd heard about Jean-Philippe Charcot. And Charcot, who was a psychiatrist at the time, uh, was also a, a hypnotist. And he defined um, hysteria paralysis, the idea that folks could be paralyzed purely because of the own their own negative suggestions and create a paralysis, a physical paralysis from their own negative suggestions. And Freud first went to see uh, Charcot and noted there were 600 people jammed into this hall. And, right. and Charcot would call upon these various patients, and they'd come up to the front of the room, and they'd have a cane or a crutch, or they'd be in a wheelchair. He'd hypnotize them and ask them to walk, and, of course, they'd walk. And after they came out of hypnosis, they'd be back with the crutch or the cane again. And Freud was really captivated at the power of the mind to actually create these physical ailments. Well, well no, abs you're absolutely correct. And Freud studied under Sh Charcot quite a, a little bit, is what I heard. Now, now, Freud, when he used to conduct certain classroom demonstrations in hypnosis, 
He used to utilize um, the uh, work of Franz Polgar, who was a Hungarian uh, hypnotherapist. And Franz Polgar used to show a lot of classroom uh, demonstrations. But it's, it's funny you mentioned about the paralysis. A number of years ago, I was in Arizona, and I was doing a little benefit for the um, Phoenix Suns. And so I was hypnotizing a few people to show a few demonstrations of hypnosis. This one young man was basically, did, did all these spectacular demonstrations. He had complete coordination and body movement, and he, and he was wonderful in hypnosis. Uh, at the end of the demonstration, his mother came up to me and said, my son can't do that. And I said, what do you mean? He goes, she goes, what I saw was a miracle. My son suffers from severe uh, palsy, and he could barely walk. Yet under hypnosis, that, that physiological problem and that physical abnormality was completely gone, which made me believe maybe at some point it was real, and then it became a mental condition that through the work with the hypnotherapist, he could have been able to resolve that physical condition. Remarkable. Well, you know, the mind and the body are one, of course, as we've come to learn in recent years. And when you think about the whole concept of energy and matter, there is, as Einstein told us many years ago, energy and matter are interconvertible and transferable. Right. And I think we're just beginning to scratch the surface of that with regards to hypnosis uh, as, as a healing tool. Well, absolutely. And medical doctors and psychiatrists and psychologists are really starting to understand the real wonderful benefit of the science that we call uh, hypnotherapy. And it's really great because I'm getting quite a few referrals these days because I do have a private practice here in Southern California, and I do even conduct telephone hypnotherapy sessions. But uh, quite a few psychiatrists and psychologists and medical doctors are now referring their patients to me, which I think is really wonderful that they're opening up to it. In fact, a recent survey, statistically, medical doctors had stated 60% of, of their clients' physical problems stem from their mind. Incredible. So if you can change the mind, you can change the body. Incredible. Absolutely fantastic. Great to have you on, by the way. I'm so well, pleased. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure. You. I'm so glad we've been speaking in the past. We and, have. Uh, I was really looking forward to come on to your show and to talk about hypnosis and to explain it scientifically because I think a lot of people have a misunderstanding of certain words and what hypnosis is. Hypnosis, is when, when someone says sleep, the person isn't asleep. They're actually in an altered state of awareness, actually. But physically, they look very, very relaxed, which could resemble sleep. The difference between a natural sleep and a state of, of uh, hypnosis receptibility is the subconscious mind, when you're sleeping, is transmitting thoughts feelings in the form of dreams, three different stages of dreams, from wishful thinking to precognitive to early morning venting dreams. And when a person is, is in that physical state of relaxation that resembles sleep, but is hypnosis, that subconscious is receiving positive thoughts or suggestions or images from the hypnotherapist. I have seen some wonderful, spectacular changes in people's lives, uh, everything from feeling happier to letting go of, of very strong, long embedded habits. And, uh, and I, I just love the science. The more I'm learning about it and exploring and testing new techniques, the more I'm just really, uh, re I'm a really big believer that, that um, some, some people's conditions and emotions can actually be neutralized and resolved through the science of hypnotherapy. As well as, as you know, over the past number of years, I've been doing extensive research in EEG through my institute, the EEG Hypnosis right. Institute. Right where I have now um, been able to educate quite a few hypnotherapists around the world in the fact that hypnosis is simply changes of brainwave frequency states to enhance focus and concentration to create these wonderful receptive states of being able to communicate to a person's subconscious mind. Incredible. If folks are interested, by the way, in contacting uh, Tom Silver, and why wouldn't you be, 888-646-3797. Uh, I'll give that again. Grab your pens and pencils. Uh, Toll-free, 888-646-3797. His email is tom at tomsilverinstitute.com. Can I say something, Mark? Absolutely. 
You know, listeners out there, you've got to realize if you want to reach the goals in your life, if you want to feel happy and have lots of energy, you have to give yourself those right positive mental messages. I find, Mark, a lot of people that come in to see me, say, for example, someone wants to lose weight, and I ask them, well, why can't you lose weight? A simple question. They tell me, well, I, I hate eating healthy foods, I'm lazy, I don't like to exercise, I'm not motivated. So I really think that in order to really even be able to help yourself, all you have to do, the number one is you've got to start giving yourself positive message, messages, positive mental messages, they call them suggestions or affirmations. And I think once you start doing that, then it will start to stimulate positive emotions, and you'll find that even you yourself can reach your goals at life right before you fall asleep at night, right when you wake up in the morning. Tune your mind up. Wake up and say, it's gonna, today is a great day. I'm going to have lots of energy. I'm going to love doing things today. I'm going to be motivated and successful. And you'll find even those simple mental messages can enhance your energy, your vitality, your focus, your concentration. They can activate wonderful chemicals within your brain and to your body as serotonin and melatonin and endorphins. And you can actually help to really increase your level of health, happiness, and success simply by giving yourself positive mental messages. Absolutely true. And if folks are interested in uh, working with Tom, I think they should uh, basically understand that that is a very very good possibility. He's very busy, and yet as busy as he is, um, he is absolutely able to take on uh, new clients right now. He's busy. I know you just got back from Hawaii recently. Yes, I just did a corporate uh, motivational uh, training seminar in Hawaii, and I just got through uh, doing a uh, six-day private uh, training course, scientific training course and certification with a delicate student that came out from Australia. I also teach courses in hypnotherapy, and I certify through my institute. Um, um, I can certify people who want to become really proficient scientific hypnotherapists and and enabling you to help other people, friends and family. And it's a wonderful science. I've been doing it for 28 years, and every single day, Mark, I seem to get more and more excited about um, about the discoveries that I'm finding about the mind. The mind is such an untapped universe, just like you were saying earlier. Absolutely. And, it, and it's so wonderful. And the more we know how to operate our mind, the more we're going to be able to reach our goals in our life. And we're not our minds. We're the operators of our, our minds. And the more you can produce positive thoughts, you're going to produce positive emotions, and it's going to change your life. He is Tom Starr, and he is dedicated to uh, a life of health and happiness and obviously helping folks to attain greater health and happiness uh, by understanding their minds and reformatting the way they think. And there is a whole world, as he just pointed out, for each and every one of us to really explore, and he's a wonderful teacher. And uh, when we come back from this break, uh, I'd love to talk about ERT and your EEG scientific hypnotism, and there's a lot to speak about with you. Uh, Hang in there. We'll be right back. Right in our area, we are fortunate to have one of the top martial arts schools in the country, Personal Best Karate. Personal Best has been recognized for their community involvement, professional staff development, character building programs, and exciting educational curriculum. Personal Best stands at the top of their industry. Five locations offering personalized professional instruction. Not sure if karate is right for you? At no obligation, the staff at Personal Best will guide you in a private introductory program to see if karate is indeed the right fit to help you achieve your goals and meet your needs. What does karate at Personal Best teach you? Character building, success habits, helps you get in shape, relieve stress, self-control, setting goals, and of course, self-defense. Personal Best goal is to create successful, contributing members of society through the practice of the martial arts at Personal Best. Mr. Chris Rappold is, of course, the founder of Personal Best Karate. He tells me his greatest joy of all is to see the personal transformation in each and every student. Bring out your best with Personal Best Karate. Telephone number 508-285-5425. That's 508 285 5425 locations in Norton, Foxboro, Southeastern, Franklin, and Taunton. That's Personal Best Karate. Hi there, this is Mark Cole, the Natural Health and Healing Show. I know that so many of you out there are passionate about the latest cutting-edge nutritional information would like to go on to that next level. 
I'm proud to announce that our new natural health care offices in Cohasset are offering personalized nutritional consultations. At Santee Holistic Healing, you'll experience an informative, individualized nutritional consultation by one of my finest personally trained nutritional experts. Your consultant will test you for specific food allergies and supplements. Together, you'll chart out a personalized, optimal nutritional roadmap that will detail your healthiest foods and nutritional supplements, even specific doses. If that's not enough, we also offer relaxing healing massage at Santee Holistic Healing. Whether it's nutritional consulting or healing massage that you're interested in, we at Santi Holistic Healing are prepared to give you the healing experience of a lifetime. Call us at 781-383-3393. That's 781-383-3393 for the healing experience of a lifetime. All righty, welcome back. We're going to do a quick little uh, piece with Nick Mincola, who's here from uh, Good Health Natural Foods. Welcome in, Nick. Hey there, Pop. We've got some interesting things to uh, share with folks that, uh, on the shelves of Good Health, uh, some uh, supplements that can help us with uh, some of our topic this evening. Why don't you help out here? Real quickly, just we have four products that are related to the show. The Source Naturals GABA Powder, 8 ounces, comes in 20, uh, 2370 is the price. Uh, the Irwin Naturals Stress Defy, 120 soft gels for 2750 the Natural Factors Stress Relax Pharma GABA, 60 chewables for 2705 And my favorite product over there, the Jaro Neuro Optimizer, 120 caps, 4006. Uh, wonderful product over there. Look them up. I'll be over there. Great stuff. And these are things that can really help people to increase serotonin levels and to kind of uh, help relax some of that stress chemistry that Tom has been uh, talking a little bit about this evening because clearly when so many of us are are overtaxed in our day-to-day lives and uh, uh, pushing so hard as many of us do. And, you know, you throw on top of that an awful lot of negative thought patterns and God only knows that we're all stressed out uh, more than we really are built for. <laughs> our natural bodies and minds are just not really designed to, to deal with a lot of the levels of stress and the negative thinking that we're confronted with. So a lot of negative chemistry is the end result. And, uh, you know, part of that equation, of course, like we've always said in this program, is it's a body, mind, spirit proposition. It's a holistic proposition. You want to eat better. And I know most of you out there do. Uh, some of these supplements can be very, very helpful. And uh, Nick Mincole will give you a hand fi- uh, finding those things and picking them out. 1637 Hancock Street. It's, of course, down in Quincy. That's Good Health Natural Foods. It's 617-773-4925. Or maybe you want to meet them down in Hanover. That's where Nick works. 219 Columbia Road. That's Hanover. 826-0808. That's 781. And for all things natural, it is Good Health Natural Foods. And, Nick, you've been doing a great job down there. I keep getting great feedback, and uh, you've helped a lot of folks to uh, find their way in the health food store. Thank you, Sarah. It's, uh, all, everybody over there is wonderful people, very knowledgeable people, and a uh, great community over there. Absolutely true. That's Good Health Natural Foods. Get down there and say hi to them. And, uh, Nick, say hi to Tom Silver. Hello, Mr. Tom. Hey, Nick. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. Well, it sure sounds like you got some great products to help folks out there. Absolutely, we do. Oh, excellent. Well, I'll be contacting you in regards to those. Thank you. Look forward to it. Thank you, sir. All right, Tom, let's uh, let's get back on track here, and let's uh, talk a little bit about something that I find absolutely fascinating, group and mass hypnosis in foreign language. Well, yes, in 1994, I was asked uh, by a represent- representative in Taiwan if I would be interested in bringing over the science of hypnosis to the Taiwan culture. Now, back in 1994, there was not one um, therapist that was practicing hypnotherapy there. There were cognitive therapists and medical doctors. So I uh, went to Taiwan, and the first thing I had to do was to de- develop a method to hypnotize people through an interpreter. So I worked actually for two weeks solid, 14 hours a day, to crack a formula to, to create a method to hypnotize someone through an interpreter in a foreign language. And after about two weeks, I actually cracked the code and and was able to hypnotize people in Mandarin Chinese, translingual hypnosis. So I spent a lot of years going back and forth to Taiwan. I was lecturing uh, at the Taiwan Buddhist Association, the Olympic Committee, the police department in regards to forensic hypnosis, and doing a lot of uh, lectures throughout the country to help people understand uh, actually the power of their subconscious mind. I was also hypnotizing large groups of people to actually start to feel happy and positive and to even smile and laugh. It was kind of a repressed culture back then. Certain cultures can express emotions easily, like here in the Western world. So 
sometimes in the Eastern world, um, um, sometimes it's hard for certain cultures uh, to actually uh, express their feelings and to smile and to laugh. And so I did a lot of work in Asia, and I was actually hypnotizing large groups of people and giving them mental messages of feeling happy and confident and, and smiling and enjoying and loving their lives. And actually, there was one time in 1995 that I hypnotized actually 3,800 Chinese folks all at the same time in the Taipei, Taipei Athletic uh, Stadium with my interpreter, Dr. Wong. And it actually created a hypnosis world record by doing that. 3,800 people at once? 3,800 people simultaneously went into a complete receptive state of hypnosis. Incredible. And when they walked out, I could see smiles, I could see happiness, I could see joy in their heart. And it was so wonderful to bring the science of hypnosis to the Taiwan culture. I went back and forth for a number of years. I even was awarded the gold plate of honor from the Taiwan uh, Minister of Defense for my work in 1997 in July. And currently, hypnotherapy is, a, is one of the standard practices now in, in Taiwan, and it's spreading into Asia, into mainland China, into other countries. And I feel very proud that I was able to introduce the, that whole culture to the science of hypnosis. Incredible. Please help us understand a little bit about Emotion Replacement Therapy, ERT. Well, thank you. Over the past 20 years, well, 28 years, I've been pioneering um, advanced methods based on science with hypnotherapy. And uh, one of the methods that I've formulated and that I'm teaching around the world and that I, I also practice in my private practice is what I call ERT, Emotion Replacement Therapy. I believe that most people's um, habits their physical problems all stem from some type of emotion, some type of emotional feeling or blockage. And so, therefore, I created a method, including with fears and phobias, over 50 million Americans suffer from fear and phobic anxiety, which some people say uh, can happen because of a real experience and or an imagined experience. Mm -hmm. So I created this method called emotion replacement therapy, where I'm able to, to do some uh, induction techniques and to change somebody, a client's brainwave frequencies down to a low brainwave frequency state of what I call theta and delta. Folks, our mind operates neurologically, scientifically on, on brainwave frequencies. Everything from a very deep sleep or a deep hypnosis state, which we call delta, which is anywhere from 0 0.1 to about 4 hertz, to a conscious cognitive waking state of, 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 of like during the day, which is what we call beta, which can be anywhere from about 14 to maybe about 30 or 40 hertz. And I think you understand about the brainwave frequency state, sure, don't yes, you, Mark? Absolutely. Yeah, so it's really a science, and uh, I've been able to create this method called emotion replacement therapy, where I can relax the physical body, put a, a client into a very low brainwave frequency state, and I'm able to delete emotion, phobias, fears, and negative habits out of that subconscious biocomputer it's kind of like a mental virus in a hard drive. Mm -hmm. And I'm able to delete their negative habit or emotion, and I'm able to replace it with a positive emotion or a positive habit. And I've had just such tremendous success, but I've actually been teaching these methods to psychotherapists out here on the West Coast, as well as hypnotherapists that have been flying in from all over the world to learn this technique. And it's, and it's so successful. Sometimes I can take a person that's had a strong phobic anxiety, a specific phobia, which could relate to anything from insects to dangerous situations or closed environments, to a social phobia, somebody that's got the inability to, to speak in front of a group of people, or I work with certain athletes that have performance anxieties, and I'm able to delete that emotional stimulus out of that subconscious computer, their hard drive, and I'm able to reprogram and and put in a new software, a new, a new positive emotion to replace it. And as long as they think consciously uh, in a positive way, their life can, can actually change tremendously. I've showed that on the Beyond Show where I worked with two young ladies in San Francisco. One had a fear of heights for over 25 years. She could not even go two steps off a ladder. Um, and I was able to, within, within two sessions, to delete that phobic anxiety, which I call sometimes an overreactive negative imagination, and give her the freedom to be able to fly, to travel, um, and, and her whole life changed. And I worked with another young lady who had a fear of driving up and down hills, 
and uh, it's extraordinary. I've even be, been able to help people who have, str have actually had strong, maybe what we might call obsessive compulsive behaviors towards certain types of drugs and alcohol to overcome that. And so emotion replacement therapy, ERT, is a wonderful process to delete negative emotion, negative habits and patterns out of a person's subconscious mind and to reprogram in a positive thought or positive feeling or a positive experience that now becomes part of their everyday life. From birth to about three years of age, everything that goes into a person's mind goes into that subconscious computer. At about three or five years of age, we develop our conscious mind, the part that uses logic and reason. Uh, and most times, sometimes people will actually be giving themselves these what I call negative suggestions that will manifest by activating those negative emotions, such as a fear can become extreme and it can turn into a phobia, and that can become extreme and turn into a panic disorder, and a final outcropping of that could be what we might call agoraphobia, the fear of being able to, uh, to even leave your house. Right. So with the ERT, I find it's been an extraordinary therapy, and I am so proud that I've been able to test it and develop it and be able to even utilize EEG technology, brainwave frequency monitoring, through a scientific device called the electroencephalograph machine to be able to actually validate uh, these receptive states that we call deep hypnosis that I call scientifically delta. And even in those deep receptive frequency states, certain chemicals such as serotonin can be produced so if a person can practice a technique of what we might call meditation or physical relaxation, they can actually stimulate these mind chemicals to really help heal them. And I believe that eventually in the future we're going to find that these frequency receptive states will be able to help people let go of sometimes what, what I call the, uh, um, the overdosage of mental medicines that are being given out like candy to so many people. That, and these certain states that produce these serotonins are natural and they're holistic and that I believe that we can teach people to produce their own mind chemicals to keep them happy, calm, positive, focused, energized. If you'd be so kind, share with us an experience uh, that comes to mind for you um, regarding someone who had a physical condition uh, who had a dramatic improvement by working with their mind. Well, I had a client that a while back uh, actually had tremendous physical pain in their left leg, tremendous physical pain. They actually walked around with a leg brace on. Uh, they went to a lot of different uh, doctors, medical doctors, um, everything from orthopedic surgeons um, to, to different types of doctors that were trying to help them exercise their leg, and, and they could not actually have full mobility of it. So this person came to me. And I actually was able to put them into a very low-frequency state. I was actually able to help increase the circulatory process within their leg through their autonomic nervous system responding to these suggestions that I had given them. And actually, they gained full vitality, full coordination of that limb, and, and actually came back to, to normal, to the way they were years ago. And it was because I, I believe that in some of these states, you can really affect what they call the hypothalamic limbic system, which means that you can help some people that have physical conditions remove that physical condition by, by being able to open up the circulatory blockages that might be in a certain part of the body. And scientifically, hypnosis has been able to even produce what we call neuropeptides, which are the natural opiates to remove pain physically out of the body. I've worked with, with clients for, uh, that had to go in for for um, surgical procedures and surgical dental procedures, and I was able to help them actually produce themselves these neuropeptides through what I call a post-hypnotic suggestion, which is a suggestion that when they're in that situation that they become completely physically relaxed and they're not thinking about the procedure but kind of imagining themselves in a very beautiful, peaceful place of tranquility. And they've been so successful in these procedures, it's, it's really been amazing and extraordinary. I, I tend to think that the you know when you think about endorphins, endorphin basically means brain morphine, and the right. and the morphine that's in the human brain is has been tested as being twenty five thousand times more powerful than the morphine. 
that the pharmaceutical industry manufactures. Absolutely. So I tend to think of the brain as being the pharmacy. The brain is already an existing pharmacy. It produces millions and millions of chemicals far more powerful than anything we know of. And that, you know, obviously, as you pointed out very eloquently, that, you know, when your brain or mind are working for you as opposed to against you, you have remarkable possibilities. And if you have your mind and your brain working against you, unbeknownst to you, because uh, your subconscious mind is all loaded up with all these negative trance-like suggestions that people are walking around with continuously from the music, uh, the various exposures that they have, the thought pattern tendencies that they become sort of ingrained with, uh, and they don't really have an appreciation or respect for the power of the positive potential of the mind or, for that matter, the negative potential of the mind. And really the mind is truly the trigger of the brain's pharmacy. Absolutely, and it's and it's great that you say that because what I when I'm doing my therapy sessions, I kind of see myself as a mental doctor. I'm giving out mental sure. prescriptions, yep. so I'm producing through uh, through my processes in the hypnotherapy and the ERT emotion replacement therapy. I'm helping to stipu- stimulate mind chemicals for healing. It's interesting. On one of the talk shows the other morning, there was a medical doctor talking about heart attacks strokes and heart attacks, and they said the number one cause in our society right now for strokes and heart attacks is anger. And so think about that. Every time you think a negative emotion, such as you get angry or you get upset, you're producing acids, you're producing adrenalines, you're producing the stress hormone, cortisol, Cortisol. and so that alone should be able to help people to start to direct the thoughts they think to themselves and to Become a witness to your mind versus your mind operating you. And remember, every positive thought that you think and every positive emotion that you can actually feel, just like laughter therapy and feeling happy, is going to stimulate your immune system. It's going to stimulate your metabolism because that's all part of the hypothalamic limbic system. It's going to increase your energy and vitality. It's going to free your circulatory system and respiratory system so your body is functioning naturally, light and free and automatic. And that alone, just thinking positive emotions, exercising your mind to think in a positive way and to feel happy and joy, is, in itself is creating these wonderful chemicals and endorphins and serotonin naturally. Absolutely. And it's, and it's wonderful to be able to start to, to educate people about this. And scientifically, I will tell you, scientifically, in certain brain waste states, these mind chemicals such as the endorphins that you were talking about, and the serotonin can pre- be produced naturally without any negative side effects. Sure. Listen to some of these, these prescription medicines that come out. My God, when they talk about these side effects, <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> well, you know, I had a young lady that came and saw me the other day, and she had some weight issues, and she's making tremendous success. So I was talking to her a little bit about uh, if she's taking any medicine. So she said that um, she started taking this uh, sleeping medicine. I- I- is it okay if I mention the name? Absolutely. It was co- it's called Ambien? Yep. So she, I was asking her, well, uh, how was it working for you? She said, well, I would wake up in the morning. She goes, I was exhausted. I was beat. But she goes, my kitchen was clean. <laughs> and, and, and it was interesting because I recall that when it talks about the side effects, it talks about sonambulism could occur. That's sleepwalking. Right. And it, it's great that she's able to clean her kitchen, but she has no cognitive conscious awareness of it because it's this side effect, and she would wake up exhausted in the morning. So um, I think we're, right now we're in a, in a new age, and I think this is the age of enlightenment, Absolutely. the age of holistic healing, the age of not just listening to what doctors tell us, but listen to our heart and find these alternative paths that can lead to health, that can lead to uh, longevity, that can lead to health and vitality. Well, Tom Silver is a scientific and clinical hypnotherapist, but uh, I, I prefer to think that the universe of the human mind is the final frontier. And Tom, you are the doctor of the future. The future is now. And, well, thank uh, you, sir. I, I just do my best. Every time I can just save one person's life, I'm helping well, to save the world. You're doing and wonderful work. And, and, I, and I'm so honored just to, you know, just to 
to be able to to help people, to educate people, to enlighten people about the power of the mind. And his his uh, his work obviously is something that a lot of folks out there are going to be interested in and in doing a little more research on. 888-646-3797 is his toll free number. That's 888-646-3797. Also, his email address is tom at tomsilverinstitute.com. That's, again, tom at tomsilverinstitute.com. And uh, we're going to take a short little break and be right back with Tom Silver. Stay tuned. Thanks. Hi, this is Laura from Good Health, proud sponsor of the Health and Healing Show. For 31 years, we've been helping the South Shore communities eat well, get healthy, and stay fit. Just remember, everything Dr. Mark recommends is available at remarkable savings at Good Health in Quincy Center and Route 53 in Hanover. One-stop shopping for the finest selection and best quality of food, supplements, and gifts. Thanks so much for listening. Don't miss the 9th Annual International Herb Symposium, celebrating the healing power of plants, June 19th through the 21st at Wheaton College in Norton, Mass. It's a symposium to touch your heart and soul, as well as your mind and spirit. This gathering is for all people, enraptured by the healing essence of herbs. Learn from an extraordinary gathering of herbal teachers, elders, and healers from around the world. There will be over 90 workshops for all levels of interest and experience, and over 50 teachers representing 12 countries. To register or for more information, call 802-479-9825. That's 802-479-9825. Or visit internationalherbsymposium.com. The 9th Annual International Herb Symposium, June 19th through the 21st at Wheaton College. Alrighty, welcome back. We've been uh, enjoying Tom Silver, and Tom Silver, of course, uh, has appeared. Many of you have seen him on a number of national television programs, both here in the United States. Also, he's been on television in Taiwan, as he mentioned earlier, a lot of projects that he's done over there, including uh, his very own one-hour CBS TV special. It was called Hypnotized. The Montel Williams, you may have seen him on Ricky Lake, Sally Jess- Jesse Raphael, uh, The Man Show, Beyond with James Von Prague the other half on NBC with Dick Clark and Fox Television special, The Powers of the Paranormal, just to name a few. He's a brilliant, brilliant gentleman, and I think more importantly to me, he's a culture shaper. And uh, he's at the head of the line, and uh, he's absolutely right that uh, the future is here, and uh, it's all about the remarkable universe of your mind. And, uh, Tom, I know that you're really passionate about your work, but but I'm curious, um, what got you involved in the work that you do? What, What was your turnaround? Well, you know, Mark, when I was very young, um, I don't talk about this too often, but when I was very young, I experienced a, a major tragedy in my life. Mm-hmm. And I was, um, I was 12 years old, and I had a nephew who was 11 years old. And we were at a fairgrounds, and we were um, walking over to our car uh, to, for my mother and my parents to drive us home, and we were behind the car. And my nephew actually uh, ran to jump on this little vehicle that was going to uh, get us to the um, to our our parking spot a little quicker and 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 kind of beat my family as little kids sometimes do. Yep. And and uh, unfortunately, I saw him get crushed to death. Oh, good. And and it left such an emotional wound inside inside me. And back in the old days, you know, it, it, I don't know um, when I was young. It wasn't that prevalent for people to seek therapy. So there was really no one to talk to me about this. Uh, My parents kind of, um, everyone felt guilty, and my parents never would discuss it with me. And so I held in this pain for quite a while, um, for a number of years. And and so when I was growing up, I, I always thought I wanted to do something to help people, to help the youth to help adults, to help people suffering from physical and emotional traumas, because that's what I had. I had a major trauma, and it created what I might call a post-traumatic stress disorder type of syndrome. And uh, when I got older, I actually um, found a hypnotherapist who actually helped me overcome that obstacle, where I was able to free myself from that guilt, from that emotional wound that I carried with me for so many years. And I thought that was so fascinating and wonderful and so freeing, enlightening, 
and I knew I wanted to do something, have an occupation to help heal people. So that's when I got into hypnotherapy, and I studied it, and uh, there are a lot of schools throughout the United States that teach hypnosis. Unfortunately, most of them are based on what I might call elementary education techniques or methods that are based back in the old days, with, like with Charcot and, and in the old days in the early 1900s. So when I got out of the hypnotherapy program, and I was in the program for a few years, that's when I went out and started to become an explorer, a tester, to really see, is there any limitation in the mind what it can't do? And I, and I broke all different barriers. I wound up creating methods to help heal people. I've worked with, with people from regression therapy to strong um, uh, people that had strong um, physical habits, mental problems, as well as uh, pain and for surgeries. And I'll tell you, you know, every time I have been able to help another human being and even teach them how they can continue doing these techniques on their own, it's been so exciting and rewarding and actually healing for me. So I think because I had a early childhood trauma, it made me more sensitive, more compassionate, and I was able to really understand sometimes what, these, what people are going through in their lives. And there are so many people these days that are traumatized, um, that have emotional issues, that have uncontrolled stress issues, uh, that have fears. And, and I think right now it, it's really the time that, the time of enlightenment, the time to heal those emotional wounds, to delete them, to replace them, to give people a new hope and belief that they can actually be part of the change and solution themselves. And so that's when I really, you know, that's how I got so serious in hypnosis. And again, I've always been a tester like Thomas Edison. I don't believe that we fail. I believe that people, if you don't go out and try something and you hold yourself back, then you have regrets. But I've always been like Thomas Edison. You know, Thomas Edison attempted um, um, formulating the filament, the light bulb filament, over 2,000 small successes that some people call failures. But he looked at those as small successes. If it didn't work out this way, I'm going to try it a new way. And that's what he was. He was a tester, an explorer, a scientist. And um, after over 2,000 attempts, he had the major success and perfected the filament. So I'm a big believer that each and every one of us deserve to step out of our comfort zone, to try something new, to visualize in your mind, to see in your mind yourself doing something you might not have normally have done. Everything in life stems from imagination. Nothing in the real material world got here by itself. Someone thought of it. So I'm a big believer we have small successes, medium successes, and large successes. And as long as you're going out and trying something, testing something, going beyond that, that, that um, what I might call comfort zone, you can reach your goals in your life. And nothing can stand in the way as long as you don't give yourself these negative mental messages. We only fail if we don't allow ourselves to try and test something and create something. So I believe we can visualize in our mind what it is that we want to create. We can affirm to ourselves that, 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 that suggestion. Just as I want to be healthy, I'm going to affirm to myself, I'm going to, I, I love exercising, I love walking, I love eating healthy foods. And then we're going to project it out. Use your mind to create positive energy. Magnificent. And you will reach your goals. Visualize it. Affirm it to yourself in a positive way, and then bring it out and manifest it into reality. Isn't that exciting? Absolutely. You have the brilliant mind, the compassionate heart, the determined spirit of a true healer, and it's been absolutely our, our truest pleasure having you on. Oh, well, thank you, Mark. And I hope to be doing some, some work and some testing with you in the future to bring more healing, to bring more holistic mind and body and spirit uh, positive changes in people's lives. So I, I sure hope that this is just the beginning of a wonderful path with you, sir. I, I'm sure it is. I look forward to all those times, and, and I know that you're absolutely right on about that. That's going to happen. Great. And thank you so much. And, oh, my uh, pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, we look forward to having you on again. I hope you will come on again. I sure will. And if anyone's interested in, in hypnotherapy or if you want to learn how to be a hypnotherapist and be certified through my institute, uh, they can contact me. Can I give out the information, Absolutely, Mark? sure. Great. TomSilver.com or TomSilver, T-O-M-S-I-L-V-E-R, Institute.com. My email is simply Tom at TomSilver.com. Or you can call me on my toll-free number. It's one 888 
And that's Mind Power, M I N D P W R, which is 646 3797. And it's been an honor and a pleasure and a privilege to be on your show. Thank you so much, Thank Mark. Thank you, Tom. And uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. I know it was a rare treat for us all. And uh, please check in our website while you're at it, www.maxhealing.com. That's one word, Max Healing. Stay tuned for Dr. Julian Bath and Sex in the South Shore. This is Mark Mancola reminding you all, please, be wise, be aware, be well. Make it a healthy week. Good night. Thank you for joining Mark Mancola for the Natural Health and Healing Show. Call Mark each Sunday evening at 8 o'clock for the latest nutritional news on 95.9 WATD.